What's up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. This video we're gonna start off with a little unboxing. I think I'm gonna show more of also like my pickups in this video. I've made a few just to like, you know, recap them. This, like I said, is an unboxing. I received this item and I'm hyped to say the least. <laughs> Yeah, I mean like uh, Gizmo sent this so this is from comma wear and I know a bit of what the item is I know it's a jacket, but I still don't know the full specs most of y'all probably know comma wear So you know the deal about it everything is like so well made all the clothes are like I don't want to swear in this video But like very very nice, you know like all the hardware the thought he puts into the clothes the cuts but he sent me a message said that he wanted to send me one piece and I remember I woke up that morning when I got that message. I was so hyped. Yeah, I honestly just want to open open it up because I think y'all know about the brand. I think y'all know Giz, so I don't need to do any any introduction about that. I mean, it's plastic and it'll go to the trash anyways. Oh, shit. I knew he was going to send me one thing, but apparently there's two. Holy shit, man. God damn, I'm so hyped about this now, oh my god. Okay, so first we're gonna take a look about this that I didn't know. I obviously knew that he was gonna drop this. It was this color and then a like uh, green moleskin version. This is corduroy. Shit, this is nice. And you can see the like cut that he made it in. I think it was like a crescent cut. Yeah, honestly, like I could prepare for this one, but now that I got this one, I can't really know, like I don't know what to say. At the end of the video, I'll show like better details about this. Now I just want to unbox and try it on. That's crazy that he sent two pieces though. I gotta try this one on. Fuck, it feels nice. Honestly, even perfect for like now. Technically, the only jacket I have here, like usable jacket, is the black leather jacket or like leather jackets in general. This is like the perfect weight. It's like a shirt jacket. One like the coolest detail like I knew about and that now I can feel is that normally on like these kind of shirts because it looks like an overshirt, they don't have pockets. And as you can see here, it's like in that slit detailing, sort of like a hidden pocket. So, you know. You can just keep your hands in there, stay cozy. Yeah, I've never felt this nice corduroy in my life. That's smooth though. Like I said at the end of the video, I'll show the details better. I'm, I'm too hyped to talk about, you know, specifics. This one I knew about, and when he sent the picture, like, I was so hyped. So, it's the balloon jacket. Uh, I think he made these last year in like a red and blue color and a black and blue color now I think he's doing two other colors at least I've seen two colors like recently and this is the black version Okay, so it has the purple contrast stitching has your little instructions to use it Okay, I think I need to try this one on too. Jesus Christ. It is nice Mamma mia I don't think I have ever had anything this comfortable on. This reminds me of I have the Kiko Arcadia hat that has like the velour out and like very silky inside. This feels like butter. Oh, that's sick. Try the material, like, yeah, <laughs> that's sick. And even like the pockets are at the perfect place. Like, you know, when, when you take like a fit pick or something. Like, honestly, I can't thank Giz enough for sending these. Like, I'm still amazed. So yeah, like even now that I opened the zipper, like, it just shapes so nicely. Like, look how the cuts go here. Like how the lining work is when you open the zip, if you want to keep it like a little zipped up, it just goes perfectly aligned. Also, since this is like super comfy material, feels like a warm-up jacket, but in like the most luxurious way possible. This can like sort of be a hoodie too, in a way, like how comfortable it is. More comfortable than any hoodie I have. Yeah, I won't even take this off, no. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. We're most likely going to Cannes, and I'll definitely wear this or this like in some fit. It's just so cool. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So sup, it's uh, what is it, Friday? We're out here in Cannes. Just came here, as I've probably mentioned in the previous videos, I live very close, so. Came to check it out. It's a cool place. It's amazing weather. Having a little drink here. Casual little place. She's wearing the common wear. So it's like, 
unboxed yesterday and straight in the use. Probably take some fit pics with that later. But she's rocking it now. <laughs> you want to say something? No, I don't. No, no interest in talking to the camera. Sorry, people. But yeah, I don't really know what to say. We came here. Uh, she wanted to buy Birkenstocks. I have these that you'll see later in this video. Went to the store, didn't have any sizes or like her sizes. So no luck with the sandals. If we end up doing something, I'll uh, add it into the video. But as I mentioned, I'll probably just take some pics. So I just post them somewhere here. So yeah, peace out and uh, see you later or tomorrow. <laughs> you want to say something? Yes, now I do. See, it's not that I don't want to. I just don't know what to say. It's just Nice. So we're out here in Nice, still on the hunt for her Birkenstocks. I had to do a little research. It's a 30 minute train ride from the place I live to Nice. We're gonna go check that store out, see if we can find them. But, anyways, first time here. Haven't been here before. But yeah, let's see if my research brings, how can you say it? Something good, if it's successful. Let's see. Came here to the shore, you know, beach, whatever you call it. It's like the beach is, you know, rocks. This place is so nice. And now it's like, uh, since it's not fully sunny, it's very kind of calming here. Very pleasing, very pleasing. We were successful to get the Birkenstocks. Gotta shout myself out for the research. I found a place because they're like impossible to find at this point. Like uh, the size that uh, she needed. They were like sold out everywhere. But I found a store in Nice that had them. So I'm not gonna be the only one unboxing shit in this video. Let's open up the shoes. Y'all probably know what they are. So we're gonna do a casual unboxing so people don't start feeling uncomfortable here. People meaning. So yeah, y'all saw the ones that I got. Or maybe you didn't see them yet. Cause I'm gonna show them in this video. But she basically got the same ones in like a it's like a, the color is called Tope, however you say that. So there we have it, straight on to the feet. Birkenstock Boston. <laughs> How you like the cop? A lot. I just like them. Yeah, satisfied with the purchase. Yeah. Can I ask like quickly, like would you say Topia's blonde? Because I'm pretty convinced he is, but he keeps saying he's like brunette. No, now and that it's summer, I'll, I'll probably give myself the blonde, but... Yeah, you are. Yeah, she calls me blonde. I always tell that it's not possible that I'm blonde, but... Now that it's summer, y'all can see the... Yeah. Like here. Yeah, the ends are becoming a bit blonde, but... It's only the sun. The sun makes me blonde, but otherwise, I... I'm, I'm not blonde. Though. Maybe a light brunette, but blonde I definitely am not. There you have the... Birkenstocks, some light blue jeans, my blazer. Mm. I mean, this is just perfect. It's like around 20 degrees or something. You know, I have like a linen shirt under. Like the same one I was wearing yesterday, just a white linen shirt with some food stains on it. Like just fits so great. Like this thing is so good. Since I said it's like 20 degrees, it's very like, uh, you know, light material. If you don't put too much under it, this is like a perfect summer jacket. And just the, you know, how the material is like chill since it's like viscose. It's very like cool on the skin. And yeah, just got the same, same pants on as yesterday and then just switched the shoes. Got LVs, LV trainers, OGs, spring, summer 19, I think it was. But yeah, we're just gonna chill and enjoy this all. Catch you guys. Later or tomorrow, I never know.
Time to get into the pickup section of this video. I didn't film too much during Easter. It was just spending time with my girlfriend, going around places. Monday that I didn't film at all, we went to this cool little place. I'm not gonna pronounce the name. I'll throw the name up on the screen. But a very cool little place. Colorful, nice vibe. Honestly, the whole Riviera, everywhere I've been is just honestly crazy. I don't have too many pickups to show you guys. I know there are YouTubers who have these pickup videos where they show like 30 pieces, you know, like hella clothes. I'm not saying I wouldn't want to do a video like that, but uh, that's not how I can really deal with things at this moment. You know, when I'm traveling and stuff, I can't uh, take in a bunch of stuff. I only have a very limited amount of space. And yeah, I can encourage anyone watching that like buying stuff isn't really gonna make you happy buying hella stuff if you see people who are making like big type of haul videos it's really you know not the way to go about think about what you actually want to use what you'd get the best use out of and uh good quality materials that'll get you far if you want to buy a lot of stuff and you got the money to go and splurge out obviously do as you feel but as i mentioned uh at this moment i'm not able to do that Everything in this list is in my daily use, so I'll show you the recent uh, acquires that I've got. We're gonna start off with this pair of pants, light blue linen pants. Hyder Ackerman, fall winter 19, fall winter 20. I found these at a D-Mag in Milan. Retail price I think was 800 euros and uh, I paid 140 euros. My closet is just super black, uh, you know, leather, wax type of materials, which obviously isn't the best for summer. So I've been looking into more kind of like summer uh, clothes I can use, uh, lighter materials. And I came across these, tried them on, fit perfectly. They have a little like uh, cropped cut on some people. These could be even more cropped. For me, it just sits perfectly on top of the shoe. I'll post some fit pics of me wearing these. But yeah, has uh, two back pockets. Open back pockets, no buttons. And yeah, honestly, there's really not much to say about them. They fit perfect, they're my favorite color. Hider quality. And one thing also I forgot to mention is they have like a little drop crotch, as y'all can see. It's not a drastic drop crotch, but it's, it's still noticeable. I think they're quite interesting. Not a very simple pant at the end of the day. Has its own few details to the fit. And yeah, as mentioning the color. Next up here, we have my Birkenstock Bostons that I bought when I arrived here. I'll be making one purchase that I really need to. It's like a pair of summer shoes. So it's me editing the video. I'll just quickly add to this part that I ordered the shoes and I made another kind of like summer pickup. So I'll be showing them in the next video. I was thinking about adding it to this video, but then it would take like a week or so for me to upload. So summer purchases will be in the next video and I'm going to leave a few more to the next video as well. So it's technically going to be a part two. So stay tuned for that. In Milan, I was looking for a pair and I didn't end up buying anything. Then I went to the Birkenstock store. I just threw these on and I was like, these are actually nice. Like there's nothing interesting in these. Y'all know Birkenstock Boston's concrete gray. It's the narrow fit with the natural cork bottom. So it's like the basic of the basic, but the color is nice really. I really enjoy the color. It's like a uh, brownish gray, goes with light colors, goes with dark colors. There's no big contrast. If you use these with like white socks, looks still very natural. With black socks, looks very natural. Same way if you switch the colors in pants, you know. With black pants, perfect. With lighter pants, perfect. The actual summer shoes that I'm gonna purchase, uh, that will be made very soon since it's getting quite hot and I genuinely need a nice pair of shoes, you know, like I can use during the summer. I think I'm going, gonna go for loafers. Obviously, I'll show when I buy them. If anyone needs a nice pair of, you know, mules, shit they can beat around, buy some Burks. Good quality, good price, easy to style, goes basically with everything. I can show a few fits that I've used with these. I've been honestly using these a lot, like I said, like every day. Nice little summer shoe purchase. So then we have just two little quick cops. When I was at the Monte Carlo tennis tournament, 
I bought a little t-shirt from that brand, Tacchini. I used to play tennis as a kid and Tacchini was my favorite brand. So it's just, you know, a little cool memory from my youth, from my early childhood days. And as I've probably mentioned in some videos, like I've been always into clothing. Ever since I was a kid, I remember like as I played tennis, you can choose your fits, you can choose the clothes you wear, which is very different to any other sport. And I think like that has influenced my interest in fashion a lot since as a kid I remember I used to always think about like uh, looking at players what clothes they were wearing what brands they were wearing what fit the best and since Novak has always been my favorite player as a kid he played with Tacchini that's why it was my favorite brand it's just a nice little memory from my childhood in my favorite color it has the logo on the sleeve Tacchini logo it's kind of cool since it has a T you know my name light blue t-shirt just an homage to me as a kid then my OGs know before like living in Finland I always used to wear my Nike running hat like this white Nike running hat and it just became so shitty like you know yellow full of shit stains like I didn't want to take it with me and ever since I've left I've been like needing a running hat this kind of hat you can just you know throw on quickly I just love the hats that come in this like uh, floppy material you can just wear them like very very chill put it backwards you know just a all-around beater hat I just think that logo is so sick reminds me a lot about like a Nike Air Max TN hat if y'all know how those look it has the same shape as you can see how the stitching goes somehow very cool but just a little white hat nothing much to it then we're gonna go into the two heavy hitters basically what this whole video is about. Honestly, I can't thank Giz enough for sending me these. Like, I'm just like overwhelmed when I use these. Like, that I got sent this stuff in this kind of quality. In my last video, I opened the Vine stuff from Finland, which, which were very nice, super good quality. Like the leather and stuff was like spot on. But like somehow, something about like this Commonware stuff is just different just the cuts of it it's just weird since i think i know clothes i think i know like uh you know what makes clothes interesting and now that i've like gotten maybe more into like uh i've seen how clothing are produced if you've watched my past videos i've been at my friend's studio that who makes clothes and like um just seeing how much work goes into like making clothes and uh receiving this kind of product just honestly like is so crazy to me i'm gonna just say like once again like thank you so much at the back here it has these two like sort of flaps i don't know how you say it seams that kind of give the back more detail as you can see it like sits very nicely there the two stitchings uh, material is obviously corduroy, has um, two front pockets with the uh, Cobrax snap buttons. Even the hardware in these pieces are just like crazy. I think the buttons are also Cobrax with the Commonware detailing. And also like this part, how the stitching is left exposed inside. The slitted front pockets, probably my favorite detail. Just like... The shape is just so nice. Like, I can't, can't get over the shape. It's just so good. The material, the color, just absolutely perfect. Uh, also, this is a size small. Anyone is wondering. Let's go on to the next item. As y'all know from the start of the video, the Commonwear Balloon Jacket. The material is 65% viscose, 35% polyester, and the lining is 100% cupro. Obviously, all the buttons he uses are gonna be Riri Cobrax. Zippers, if I remember, these are custom made. Rokogni zips. This is in a size medium. I'll just throw it on because that's where the beauty is with Kama Wear. First of all, as I mentioned in the start of this video, this is the most comfortable jacket I've like ever had. Has the purple lining. And there as in the back you can see this like uh, stitching that just like enhances the balloon effect. But yeah man, like this jacket is just insane. Sleeves are also a bit baggy so it gives the like relaxed 
puffy balloon fit. And this jacket is kind of like the opposite from the first one I showed since the first one was like from the back it was shorter, on the front it was like the normal length. So this jacket on the other hand has like a longer back and a cropped front. This jacket I'm using pretty much every single day, it's just so good. And I'm finding also ways to kind of style it differently now since like the shape really allows you to like pull it off in different ways. I can show, for example, when I was in Monaco, I used like a Rick vest underneath it that I kind of like just opened and I like pushed this um, bottom part up a bit, like enhanced that it like opens up at the f like uh, top part. Thank you again and again and again to Giz for sending me these. Can't ever thank you enough. That's it for this video. It's gonna be a rainy week here in France, so I'm gonna just be focused on work. I mean, that's. A big reason why I came to France was I got a cheaper place here and like the environment and everything just allows me to kind of focus on work things and just get my head straight. But anyways, I'm gonna leave the chat for next video. I'll see you guys very very soon.